Hello everyone, just wanted to do a uh, quick follow-up to the, uh, I guess, the series of posts that I had on the uh, prop shaft that I took to the machine shop. I got the, the prop shaft back today, and as you can see when I dropped it off, um, these are the notes from the uh, machine shop guy. We're testing for three thousandths of an inch run out on the entire length. So, long story short, I didn't exactly trust the guy. After weeks and weeks and weeks, he called me back and um, said that, yeah, one time everything was good, everything was square. The next time he calls back, he was going to try to straighten it. And the last time he calls back, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing is fixable. The thing is, he had two of the shafts. This is the one out of the 176, and he also had the one out of the promo. So he was going back and forth between all of those. Uh, long story short, I don't trust basically what he was telling me. I think he might have uh, skipped some of the process or maybe not even checked him at all. So here's what I set up. Uh, just ideally, in a, in a perfect world, on a machine shop, we would have a set of V-blocks on a perfectly flat table and uh, the world would be great. I know that this isn't the most ideal setup. However, this is a piece of MDF, it's pretty straight. Those are aluminum blocks that are pretty straight and we have our dial indicator set up for, um, uh, well this is the area just behind where the strut would go. So just to give you a clue of what we're looking at, I think three tenths or three thousandths is our, is our desired run out. So as we can turn a little bit here, there's one, two, three. So there would be acceptable, correct? That's as much as we would want to see. However, as I continue to turn, whoops, we're looking at almost 18 thousandths run out. Not good. So that's uh, obviously the tapered end where the prop would go on. So this is right behind the strut. Not good. This one, I think I can go to sleep and definitively say is not going to come back onto the boat. In fact, I just got off the phone with Discount Inboard Marine and ordered a brand new double tapered shaft. That's all. That's the process. Uh, you saw I did this actual same process on the boat, on one of the promo vids, um, where I actually put the dial indicator onto the strut and used it as the base. Uh, so this, I guess, is just a little bit more of a controlled environment. But uh, no good. We'll uh, get this thing maybe another life chopping ice. But I think it stays on the boat or done.